starting the van. Unusually, I'm starting with the roof. The reason why, if I put it up like that, you can see it's curved. If I get one of the ends, which I haven't put on there yet, uh, I don't know where you can see this here. Um, the curve's a little bit steep, but I've still got to put this down and cut this out and this end here. Um, what this end here, this this side, this side and this ends, I'm going to have to cut. So it'll flatten it out a little bit. What I did here was I used this uh, seven and a half millimeter knit needle, put it on here and glued it. Well, well glued, it, glued it on the sheet, rolled it out, put it on here, put the roller on here and a heavy ruler on the other side so it kept it curved uh, but while well, it was drying it curved even more <laughs> so I'm going to have to uncurve it a bit but uh, having it curved it's, it's easier if you try and put this on through this flat and then curve it round you'll find it wrinkle because the two it's like plywood um, you've got three layers of card here that will go on here they've got the top part here I've now got to glue this onto top of here to make the curve section uh, so when it goes flatter I'll put this on there it'll stay in the curve shape if I have to uh, readjust the curve when it's on here it'll be simple to do and it'll hold its shape as well so that's what I've been doing. I've just got a couple more. I've just got these two to back up on some one millimeter card. I'll leave those to dry and I'll be able to cut these all out tomorrow. So that's what I'll be getting on with the... As from the last time, I'm going to start cutting the parts out. But before that, I've got a little tip for you. You see these here? This is the uh, locking mechanism for the door. Uh, it hinges at this point and lifts up, coming out of this piece here, and the door then can slide open. Now, they give you, right, there you have it, that little tiny uh, round dot is the end of the shaft that uh, stops the handle coming off from opening the door. I've got a better way of doing that. I do, I use this here. I do this, I don't know where you can see that there, but the end's been beveled over to work as a, a pin or with it that will go through the holes that I've punched in here because these are one millimeter holes and uh, give you a nice round rivet head and stops that coming out like that you see so that this can actually now if I hold that pin can be rotated Sorry, here, here. While holding the, while holding the pin, I, I can rotate this, and that's what happens when the door slides open. Uh, this end's been cut off rather longer than you actually need. Let's use, let's use this part here. Uh, that goes through to the door, so that would stop it going. But what I will do with this is I'll put it through the door here. And I'll cut the air, I'll put it through to the door and this little tiny bit left over, as you can see there, I'll cut that down a little bit further, I'll heat that up and put a dimple on this end as well so it won't be able to come out but it'll still be able to turn. And you can do that with a lot of these part, a lot of these small parts. Well, there's your little tip for doing 
rivets now how to make them it's very simple you probably already know this but the you, you people who don't I cut a small piece of one millimeter rod a lighter or a candle and just heat the heat the end up a couple of times there we are and it gives a nice little dimple sorry there's a nice little dimple on the end of this now uh, like the other one was oh hang on I'll try to get it on that black so you can might be able to see it okay and that there now there's my second one and push that into there and into there and now I've got both moving so and uh, they'll be held in there what I'll do is I'll pop some paint over these I'm actually going to paint this one um, I've got some Crayol paint coming spray can um, it's something that I, I had never used this particular brand of paint before okay right that's the tip for you that's the paints I am now going to get on and start cutting these parts now the first part I'm going to be cutting is the end because of the curvature here I've already shown you that I've done the roof with the curvature on it and now I can put that on there and you can see after cutting it to size the, the roof now fits roughly I, I say roughly it, it, it's just a fraction out maybe a millimeter on either side out of the curvature but once I glue that down onto there uh, once I glue that down onto there, it'll be perfect. It's, uh, it's literally that much movement to bring it down. And uh, I'll put some bands over the, put some rubber bands over the top to hold this down and in place once I've built the, the wagon. Well, I'll move out the, the pre-cut one I've already done and show you this one. This is the this is the one that I haven't done yet to show you how. I cut that section out. Now, cutting, cutting curves, there's two ways of doing it. One, you could do lots of little straight cuts all the way along, little tiny cuts, or start off with big long cuts on it, and then cut the corners off, then cut the corners off, and cut the corners off until you get near the near the size, then take a sanding stick and sand it well, uh, sand it to the curvature. That's a long way. That's a long way you're doing it. Over the years I've preferred this technique. I start off at one end. I know it sounds obvious, but I do. I start off one end. I've left because I left the a, a more card on this side here. So I'll start there. And now I drag my knife along, keeping to the line as much as I can and just drag it along very very slowly and follow the line of the curvature of the of the uh, I think right now I've gone off the line a bit there I can see that I'm going to cut back in a little bit more around there I go very very slowly it's not a horse race, not a slow and steady wins the day, as I say. Just uh, keep on coming down. If you leave a little bit of white on it, there's no problem. I'll show you how to take that off. Once you've done your first pass, which I'm coming out oh, so happens when you're talking, you see. <laughs> When you've done your first pass, I run a second pass on it. A little bit faster, not very much, just a little bit faster. Coming down here. I can see why I've left a little bit of white on. So now you can start going that little bit faster, but uh, not too much. A 
not too fast I should say, not too, <laughs> not much. <laughs> Sorry, I'm concentrating on cutting this curve. Yeah. Um, large diameter curves, this is probably the best way of doing it. I did buy myself a larger circle cutter, but even that, it still won't, uh, won't cut this. It's need something of uh, about a foot diameter cutter <laughs> I mean they are out there but honestly they, they're very expensive and just keep cutting through I'm almost through on that one just a couple of little more places that it's got to go through there and there and that should be off now that's it that's off now I'll cut through that I've got a couple of lumps here there's a little bit of white left here and a little bit of white left here and a little bit of white left here actually I've well done that right now let me take this off here the corner up there right the way to take this off is you've got the white on here and this is the outside edge so this is the side that matters don't worry about if it's not right on the inside on the outside make sure this curva, curvature is correct now the best way I've found is using the sanding stick and work in that motion down on the part out and up off the part and I'm doing it in little round motions this way you'll keep the white mark showing if you try and go up with it up and, or up and down with it you'll get a feather edged around the outside I'll show you there I've got it there that white edge there is the is a feather um, because this card will feather out that's why you get if you go down onto the part from the front this edge stays true and you can see what you're doing with a curve obviously it takes a little bit longer excuse me if I'm out of shot a bit I'm gonna well you can't see what I'm doing Carry on like that all the way around the curve and to smooth this out. This was done exactly the same way on this curvature here. So I'm going to get on, finish this part off, cut the and then cut all the parts that I've got here up. Uh, for me and Carla, see you all soon. Keep up the modeling. Bye for now. Take the railway that runs to Birmingham town Three hours out of Houston, they let you all get down Eleven minutes is allowed, we have to keep up speed And the Wolverton refreshment room will answer every need